Hey, it's Megan. Welcome back to another $1 DIY video. This time we are doing DIYs that can be used year round to decorate your home. No skill is needed and most of these DIYs can be customized to fit your own personal style. These are super easy, super cheap. One more super, super awesome. All that said, we're getting started right now. Year round Dollar Tree will sell potpourri. They sell them in many different colors. You'll find it in the candle section. And for some reason, the bag of lavender potpourri is larger than all the rest. They come in all different styles and shapes. So just snatch up one or two bags, depending on what you're doing. And you can use some of Dollar Tree styrofoam balls or even better, use items you can find around the house because it's free, it's upcycling. So I'm using some ornaments I won't be using again and one of my kids' toy balls. And then there's two ways to do this. So one, you can paint your balls before hot gluing the potpourri on. So with a neutral, natural looking potpourri, I spray painted my ornaments a lighter neutral color and that works out just fine. Also, side note, keep in mind that any ball you snatch up and use, the finished product will be double the size of the original ball you're hot gluing to. But you can also hot glue first and spray paint or hand paint afterwards. So like with these lavender pieces, beautiful color of lavender. It's just not my style. It doesn't go with my decor. So I spray painted after I hot glued. That works out just the same. So whether your style is totally glam, hey, you go ahead and add some rhinestones to these decorative balls. Or if you have a total modern, just do black and white. This works out perfectly. I love decorative balls. Super easy way to fill a bowl or vase. And side note, I think this goes great with the DIY tray and DIY candles we made in previous videos. I'll have both of those videos linked in the description. Another idea though is Dollar Tree sells these garden dishes. Love the size, the profile of this dish. They also have storage containers that are glass, by the way. They come with a lid and I lost the lid, so it's a perfect time to reuse and DIY this. Just use some hot glue and some permanent hold glue like gel super glue, or if you're an E6000 gal, go ahead and use that up. I prefer gel super glue because of the fast dry time. You can get it for a dollar at Dollar Tree and I just can't do the smell of E6000. Then just paint your elevated tray. I always spray paint, but you can totally hand paint. I do suggest if you're hand painting, depending on what paint you're using, to do a coat of Mod Podge first to help the paint stick. And here's a pro tip for you. Dollar Tree sells shower curtain liners and shelf risers that are great, they're crafter's dream, for painting indoors or outdoors. In fact, 99% of the time you see me spray painting on this channel, I'm using one of their shelf risers. When I say one, I mean the exact same one. So both of these items are reusable. The shower curtain is pretty thick, so you get at least a year's worth of use out of it. When it comes to dollar DIYs, this bowl hits the trifecta. It is simple, it is decorative, and it's also functional. So you can use this for your keys, or you could throw some decorative beads, some decorative balls like we just made in the last DIY. Super versatile, love the way it turned out. Next time you are visiting Dollar Tree, check out their floral section for their adhesive pearl wrap. This is a sticker. It's in a beaded line. You can cut out whatever shape or size you need or check the crafter square for these stickers. They're also 3D or studded stickers, but they're also in a line. Now you can use this on whatever you have on hand, like a candle or a vase, a planter. I'm using this tray I got on clearance at Walmart. What's great is these stickers because they come in a line and the adhesive is really strong. I was very impressed with that. It's really easy to cover a whole tray. In the past, I made candle holders where I use the individual little stickers that you have to peel off and individually place them exactly where I want them. This was so much easier. Now, if you're using plastic, I would suggest A, using Rust-Oleum spray paint like I'm using, or B, if you wanna hand paint or maybe use a cheaper brand spray paint that doesn't add here or stick to plastic, paint it with a thin coat of Mod Podge first. Cause what that's gonna do, it's gonna steal in these stickers, keep them from moving, but it's also going to enable whatever paint you're using to stick to your tray, planter, lamp or vase. Like I said, this technique can be used on a plethora of items. And side note, if you are interested in that cross 
beaded cross I made that's also Dollar Tree DIY. I'll have that video linked in the description. Super stoked that this year my Dollar Tree is finally in the floral section carrying their cloches. Cloches. <laughs> I'm not, if you're my friend, please correct me. Is it a cloche? Is it a cloche? Are neither one of those correct? Please, for real, let me know. I've actually Googled this and I've heard people say both. But new to everyone this year are these cement candle vase holders, whatever you want to call them. And the, I'm going to call it a cloche for now. The cloche fits perfectly into the cement part and it just makes it look extra high end. Now you could use this for holidays, but... What I really wanted this for is to use this to hold the flowers from my my dad's funeral last month. And when they finished drying out, that's where I'll put them. I actually made two of these. So I had another idea to put matches inside of them for outdoor trays to keep the matches from getting wet. And I just think it kind of looks cool. It's a great way to display matches. And it's also functional. But there's a million and five ways you can use those cloches washes. Once again, correct me in the comments. Okay, so this next DIY, I think a lot of y'all are going to love. I love it. And it's super simple to do. You just need two of these little wooden boxes from Dollar Tree and some preferably free scrap wood. Now you're probably thinking like, oh, okay, that's convenient. <laughs> free scrap wood. But like I've shown in many other videos, if you go to Facebook, click the marketplace, go to search in the marketplace, you can type in free wood and see what your area has to offer. Now, if you're in an area where your neighbors are not giving away their free scrap wood, no worries, my friend. You have a few options. So Shannon from the Daily DI Wire recently uploaded a video where she shared some pretty cool finds from Dollar Tree, including this real wood, real wood planks sold at her Dollar Tree. Now, I haven't seen these in stores. This video is from Shannon's video. She gave me credit to use it. And then there are a few other options. I have other videos I'll have linked in the description where I show ways to get free wood. Because the wood I'm using is a little bit darker than the wooden boxes from Dollar Tree, I'm using my favorite way to stain wood, which is coffee stain it. And I've done this so many times, but super quick recap, just as always, super dark coffee works the best. And if you want your stain darker, you can, you know, repeat the steps. And then we'll need some wood glue, which can be purchased from Dollar Tree. But I actually think it's a better deal to purchase it from Walmart or Home Depot. Even Dollar General, because it might be 2 or $3, but you just really get more bang for your buck. And that's how you're going to connect your boxes to your scrap wood, your wood planks, whatever you're using. I also want to say that in the cracks of the wood boxes, I added wood glue for extra security. And then you also have a few more options. So you can use one of Dollar Tree's metal welcome signs, thankful harvest, the kind that they sell for spring and Thanksgiving. Or you can use an initial letter that you purchased from Hobby Lobby. I'm using some house numbers that my neighbor gave me because this is going back to my neighbor. I'm making it for her. And then you just need some mug hooks and one of Dollar Tree's garden chains. And that's how we're going to hang it. For about $5, I really don't feel like this DIY can be beat. I think it looks so great, not at all like a dollar DIY. And I just want to let you know that I did not put the flowers directly into the boxes. I just used little planters and put those in the boxes. So four planters total or two planters per box. And we're on to the next one where you just need two of Dollar Tree's doormats. It doesn't matter the style or what it says for real. It doesn't matter. Just duct tape two together, also using Dollar Tree's version of duct tape. And then just trace out a half circle. I used a Dollar Tree hula hoop, but you can use a trash can or really whatever you have on hand or freehanded. It doesn't really matter at all. And then just cut that out. Then you need two to three packs of Dollar Tree's lighter or white colored, ivory colored nautical rope. The ivory colored nautical rope is actually three strands spun together. So you're going to pull apart one strand and then you'll have two single strands, which can easily be twisted, twisted, <laughs> twisted back together to make a rope looking strand. So with the double or two strand rope, you're going to Wrap that all the way around the outside of, and this is going to be our rug, our rug. And I could do that two times before my rope about ran out. Then with a single strand, 
cut that down because these are like yarn strings twine i don't know how you want to describe it but you can easily make tassels by cutting off pieces and then tying the top around with twine then taking an upholstery needle or a hair sewing needle along with some fishing line to sew your tassels on the outside of your rug we are also using nautical rope for this diy which can be purchased at dollar tree or i buy mine from amazon this rope i've purchased before they kind of change the prices i will have it linked in the description but for 200 feet for ten dollars that's like half the price of dollar tree you would have to spend like 21 dollars at dollar tree so this is a great deal once again they do change the prices i'm gonna have two options linked for you in the description but back to our rug all you have to do is just keep on wrapping and rolling side note you are not cutting off every time you get to the bottom of the half circle or our rug. You just kind of bend it over unless you're starting with a new color rope. And that's it. I also have a lot of my, well, not a lot. I have a decent amount of my nautical rope left over. So if you are using 100% Dollar Tree items and you're purchasing the Dollar Tree nautical rope, I'm gonna say you need about 17 packs of rope. But if you purchase off Amazon, you can spend less than $10 and spend less than $15 making this really cool rug. This will look great outside, but I have mine under my kitchen sink. This is exactly what I wanted, what I had envisioned and a lot less money than what I had been seeing online. And we are on to the next one where all you need is one of Dollar Tree's plates, one of their smaller plates. This is one of their marble plates. It is plastic, but you can use glass just the same. And one of their smaller metal garden tins. These kind, now this is old, I've spray painted this years ago, but these are the kind that are smaller and they're sold for Valentine's Day or Christmas or Easter. They're just a lot smaller and they're usually decorative. Once again, use hot glue and some permanent or strong hold glue like gel super glue and then spray paint it or paint it the color of choice. I've shown in a previous DIY where you can use one of their charger plates and one of their full size garden tins to make a different style of lifted tray. And I think these two go great together. I'm using mine as plant stands. Actually, I use them outside as plant stands, but the day that I filmed this, it was raining super hardcore. So this is what they look like indoors with my indoor plants, but I think you can totally get the idea. Hey, thanks for sticking around to the end. If you're still here, I'm assuming either A, you forgot to turn off autoplay on YouTube or B, you're a regular view and you actually care. So my dad did pass away, forgive me for not uploading. I'm asking for grace at least, for not uploading the past month. Um, I will be uploading more often. I still have to go back to Kentucky to finalize a few things from his funeral. And yeah, but on a plus side, on a positive note, coming soon i will be making over my neighbor's pantry this is a project that started way back in march and i was scheduled to do it may 24th we were going to film or start filming but then you know unplanned things happen so i'm putting up a few pictures of what the pantry is going to look like or what it does look like not what it's going to look like and so just stay tuned for that so much love to you my friend and thank you so much for watching